Hello friends, welcome to Nandkishore classes. Today's lecture is going to be very interesting. Please read the statement. Which of the following is a perfect square? 2 to the power 3, 3 to the power 5, 4 to the power 7 or 5 to the power 9. We need to select correct option from here. If you know the answer, please select it and let us know. And watch this video till end and compare your solution. First of all, before going with the exact option, let me clarify the meaning of perfect square because many of you who, who are watching the video, they might not be clear about it. So perfect squares are like 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. I hope you can analyze them now. These are the perfect squares. If I would go with the definition, those numbers which are the result of multiplying by itself. In fact, I won't say the numbers, it's whole numbers. For example, this 1. 1 square is making 1. 4. Square of 2 is making 4. 9 is made by the square of 3, like that. So, these upper numbers... 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, right? Keep on going. These all numbers are perfect squares because they are formed by squaring a natural number or whole number. From these four options, which number is a perfect square? It is very easy to find. I will tell you an easy way, quick way of doing it. Check the options very carefully because... If we check the options carefully, this is having 2 here, this is having 3, this is 5 and this is 4. But I observed here, 4 to the power 7 is the answer. Frankly telling you, 4 to the power 7 is the answer, but I am going to explain why I considered 4 to the power 7 as perfect square. See, 4 can be written as 2 square. Right? 4 can be written as 2 square. Now, this 2 and 7, both exponents are actually multiplied. You will get 2 to the power 14. But if I don't multiply them, I can rearrange it like this. 7 inside and 2 at the top. Still, it is not making any change, right? 7 times 2 is still 14. This was 2 to the power 14. It is still 2 to the power 14. But what is the point here? That I am getting square at the top even if since it's just an MCQ you don't need any exact value here 2 to the power 7 whatever the number is but square is there right if square is there that means this 4 to the power 7 is being made by squaring 2 to the power 7 if we are doing square of any whole number that means this number is a perfect square so, 4 to the power 7 is a perfect square here. This is the correct option. I hope all of you are clear with the concept. We have just used a trick. We analyzed the options and the option which could have been written as a square. Like 4 can be written as 2 square. 4 itself is a perfect square. That means this option is a perfect square. Right? I hope you are able to understand. Thank you so much for watching this video.